Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the top three Pi Zero images. Now, Pi Zero and Pi Three images are not made the same. You do have to pick one over the other for the Pi Zero. And these are my top three picks, starting with number three. In number three, we have Gar Barcade's version two Star Wars theme. Uh, the reason why this one doesn't get gets third is there's PlayStation games on it, so it, there's no way in hell you're gonna get these PlayStation games to work on your Pi Zero. So that's why when I originally did the review, I was a little curious about it. But you know, there it is. You can always delete these and, and add your own, though. It shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, in ports, you have Kodi pre-installed, TurboGrafx-16, 94, NES. You have 787, and I really like the Star Wars theme. It is very pretty on the outside here, on the systems. Sega Mega Drive, also known as Sega Genesis, 735. Sega Master System, also known as Chewbacca. No, but, uh, Sega Master System 268. Game Boy Color, 535. Game Boy Advanced, 455. Game Boy, 560. Game Gear, 245. Atari 7800 with Mark Hamill. 54, Atari 2600, 642, and then uh, Super Nintendo 784. So, um, and then these 58 PlayStation games. So you got TurboGrafx 16, all the NES and Sega consoles. Um, your Game Boy Advance, you have about half of all the entire games. And, uh, you know, overall, it's decent. It's running not, it's A, the controls weren't set up. You gotta go set up your controls. It's a little bit of a pain. You got to do it. Uh, something in its favor, though, is it has a ton of Star Wars music. It's got literally 40 or 50 different MP3 files with Star Wars music. So if you like Star Wars, not only is the theme cool, but also the um, music goes along with it. Now, I've muted the music for this particular video, and the easy way to do that is just delete the music folder within the uh, file manager. This is running RetroPie version 4.2, so it's not on the most version 4.3. You don't get collections and things like that, but you can definitely update this. This is a 32 gigabyte. It will fit on most 32s, and uh, there you go. The reason I'm not giving this an A and why it's in third is A, the PlayStation collection. B, it's not the most recent version. C, it's very much a Star Wars theme, so it's not going to be catered to the average person. You're going to want to be a Star Wars fan to enjoy this one. But nonetheless, you can always install a new theme, change some things up, making it a good starter image. And in number two, we have DMC's version three SNES Classic image it is a offshoot of initially it was a mad little pixel image with just super nes and nes classic and then he added a bunch of systems on top of that he still kept the box art with the video snap beautiful beautiful stuff and he made it usable for the pi zero looking at the collections here you have pretty much every single nintendo console uh, ever made, especially the most common ones, everything from uh, Famicom all the way up to Nintendo 64. You even have Virtual Boy and your portables as well. Now, if you saw my previous videos, Game Boy Advanced and Nintendo 64 are not going to run. Nintendo 64 is not going to run whatsoever. Do not run very well. You also have Game & Watch as well. But the Super Nintendo, the Super Famicom, and then you have the SNES Classic. Um, all games totaling on this image is shy, just shy of 5,000. Uh, where this is hurting is you don't get any arcade, you don't get Neo Geo, you don't get Final Burn Alpha, and you don't get any of the Sega titles. However, it's a well-optimized image with a beautiful theme and all of your favorite Nintendo games on it. Now, if you do, and it also has the bezels and the um, and the and the boot-up screens, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, it does also have the SNES Classic music, which I'll also show you to disable if you don't want it. But again, it all plays into that SNES Classic. So if you get the Pi Zero. You get the SNES clone controllers. You could be up and running with the SNES Classic for around $60, which is incredible. It beats the original one, and you can have the entire collection of all the games. You don't have to choose what games you want and what games you don't want. The video snaps on here are gorgeous, but on the Pi Zero, they do lag a little bit. I might just switch to image only, but, you know, the video snaps run fine. There's just a slight delay on them. If you did want to delete the music, here's a quick way to do it. Just hook up a keyboard, 
go into the uh, ROMs and then music folder and then hold select, select them, hit F8 and then F10 and then restart your Pi and you should be back in business with no music. It's that easy. You can also add your own music as well. I also wanted to show you here the custom loading screens and for example, the Game Boy Advance bezel and the Super Nintendo bezel. As you see, each system has its own unique bezel, thus making for just a little more unique, cool looking experience. So overall, killer image. As I mentioned, the reason why it's not number one is it is a Nintendo only. There's also some emulation that won't run, like the Nintendo 64, things like that. But other than that, as far as the SNES Classic, NES Classic clone, it doesn't get any better than this, in my opinion. And if you want a good starter image, again, a great one to start. And you can always add and delete all of your favorite games on top of this. In number one, we have Mad Little Pixels 4, RetroPie 4.2. Pi Zero Pi 3, Emulation Station Build. Now this image has it all. Final Burn Alpha, Arcade, Neo Geo, uh, CPS 1, 2, and 3, Final Burn Alpha, you name it, it's got it. The only problem is when you first boot up this image, it, the controller is pre-configured, so you need to go ahead and reset your controls. So what I've done here is I've gone to the RetroPie menu, then I go down to Configuration Tools, then I go down to Emulation Station, and then the next screen you're going to clear your controls and then restart. This is a little extra step you have to do on this image when you first boot it up. So do know that once you get that set up though, you'll be able to configure whatever controller you have. Once that's done, there is no music on this. It is running RetroPie 4.2 and it is a 32 gigabyte image. It's rocking over 6,000 games from Atari to the Segas to the Nintendos. And as I mentioned, a cool arcade collection. You even have Sega 32X, Final Burn Alpha, and Neo Geo, including all your Metal Slugs and things like that. Now with the Pi Zero, you are gonna struggle a little bit on the um, Game Boy Advance games, but I was actually pleasantly surprised when I did my emulation station test to find that a lot of the Final Burn Alpha and a lot of the arcade games work just fine, including you know Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Mega Man, uh, Street Fighters 2, uh, many, many titles that I thought would lag um, were not. However, I did find a lot of lag with the Game Boy Advance. That being said, there's still over 5,000 titles you can play on here thus making it a really nice 32 gigabyte image. The one thing I might change is just update it. It is on 4.2. Go ahead and get it up to 4.3. That way you can do favorites, all games, screensavers, any of those little additional items that have been updated on RetroPie. With that said though, this earned a good, strong first. It's a no BS. It's ready for the Pi Zero. And uh, a couple little fixes. You're rocking and rolling. And uh, you won't be disappointed with this one. So there you go, that's the top three. Let me know if I missed one or I should have put one in here that I didn't. And uh, like always, if you could like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one.